Hey guys, this is Godzilla 2010, and today there's some more news for Godzilla vs. And it's really just more showing off more gameplay. And basically, on the show I showed us was all of the introductions, I guess when you go into battle mode, with every single um, kaiju currently confirmed. And we got some footage of Mecha King Ghidorah, and it was just amazing. So yeah, my main from Melee has returned. That's really cool. Um, I'll have a link down in the description below, you know, for the trailer. And I'm not sure if I'm going to upload on my reaction video, but I did record it just in case I decide to upload it. I may or may not, so, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, it was a really cool trailer. I, I think it was really amazing. Um, we did get some, you know, re shown footage, but, you know, the cool stuff was, you know, the cinematic mode of, you know, these kaiju appearing. It was really awesome, really. It just kind of, yeah, it was pretty exciting stuff. So, and I think really the most... The interesting thing that I saw was um, we got to see um, Godzilla, you know, in the first level going for um, the nuclear reactor, but it wasn't in, like a cinematic camera mode or you know the camera, you know, the normal camera mode. It was actually um, I have a view from a guy looking out of a um, helicopter door, and it was really odd because you know there's nothing in the, the PS3 game. So here's the thing: is there a way to you know possibly save a replay, and when you can view it from like you know like the military perspective, or can you place the military, is there a new camera mode? There's a lot of ways you can go with this, and it's probably going to be either, you know, you can view their perspective, or, you know, you can actually place them. Either, you know, I don't think they're going to do the replay thing, but it's definitely possible. Um, either way, it seems pretty interesting, it's kind of something to think about, really. And we did see, like, a kind of even more, you know, edited version of, I believe, to be a cinematic mode scene. Kind of like had it, you know, you know, like the old grimy feel to a film, but it's in black and white completely, so you know, that's pretty interesting. And at the end of um, the trailer, they showed like a little, you know, advertising for this um, new Godzilla, like iPad, you know, iOS game or something. I don't know. I don't guess I know what it's about, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that was pretty interesting. Apparently, they're making an, you know, an iOS version thing or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. What that's about, but they apparently have involvement in it. So yeah. You know, there wasn't really much else shown. But I was hoping for my kicking door and they showed him in the end. And yeah, the footage looks really good. And you know, here's the thing, this um the openings to each and every kaiju are a reference to something in the films. N they are, so just kinda like pay attention to them when you're watching for the trailer. You know, like when the destroyer first appears and goes over to destroy it, like has explosion lighting everything. His appearance does there too. Um, you know, like how they bring carry you up, you know, to like this launching stage and all the lights turn on. That happens to the game as well. And like how the you know how what was the name of it? It's like you know, like the back parts, you know, of like the two cannons from Super Metro Godzilla. I forgot what it's called, but they actually um have a thing where like the ship comes down, you know, the cannons put in, get into place and it attaches to his back and everything. It looks just like in the film, and you know how it was in the film, and it's just absolutely crazy how much attention they you know brought to this and all the fan references. Yeah, this is definitely a game you know for the fans, clearly. But you know, that's pretty cool. Um, there, there's one more thing I think I was going to talk about. Um, oh yeah, the only part in English was actually on Godzilla 2014, um, his opening thing, which you can see right here in the video but yeah I think the main attraction was really you know showing off some more footage of the gameplay and you know Magic Kingdom were being shown in actual motion you know just not like a couple images thrown into a magazine or anything so you know that was really cool everything looks great so far and yeah they're clearly trying to show off the new title Godzilla vs they're trying to really show it off really hard you can kind of tell they're kind of like pushing a little bit but no it's okay um, I'm really hoping this is, um, going to be on, like, you know, the American PS3 version. I know it's kind of unlikely. Because they keep on advertising for on PS4, but I'm gonna actually go to the video right now and... Yeah, you know, see if they have it in the description of the video. Let's see. Okay. PS4. Okay, so they're only showing it for PS4 here. 
Okay, what's this? No way, I'm not actually on the official thing here. Oh, like, so I'm viewing this on from a different... Yeah, this is posted from um, a different YouTube channel, so... Let's see if I can um, find a link here. I'm just going to put this into the YouTube thing here. I, I really want to um, check and see you know, let's, if they actually have the PS3 version in the description. Because I can definitely point you know, in the direction that it is going to be you know, for an American version. Let's see here. Is this going to have it? Um... Okay, so it says, yeah, for PS3 and PS4 in the summer of 2015, okay. So it says that. I'm not sure if, you know, the PS3 version is going to have all this stuff. Um, here's a different trailer. Let me see here. Um, and, yeah, um, yeah, it doesn't mention on the PS3 version. So it might actually be on, you know, both versions of the American version, of course. So, you know. That'd be actually really good, because I'd be fine with buying the American version to get all this extra stuff. I'd be perfectly okay with that. I would definitely do it. Um, yeah, I'm just, I might wait to see if, you know, that's actually how it's going to work or not. I'm not exactly sure, you know. Because you never really know this stuff, but whatever. I, if it's going to be um, for, you know, the PS3 American version and the PS4 American and Japanese version, then I'd be perfectly okay with that, you know. It's kind of odd. It feels like a sequel, but it's not. Wait, didn't they say they're gonna add in Bacon for a sequel? Bacon confirmed. <laughs> it's it's done. It's it's just confirmed at this point, really. They're adding new in you know new kaiju and there's some you know room left on the new character slot. Bacon's confirmed. It's confirmed at this point, really. They said in the interviews that they wanted to put him in, and they have the chance now, so they're probably gonna do it. So yeah, um, that's. I guess that's pretty hype. Um, we'll have to wait and see, you know, who they actually confirm. So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later. You know, always, you know, try to start a discussion in the comments. And yeah, that's the point of these videos.